Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about how to reduce a texture size and how the importance of this really matters, where to use 4K textures and where not to use 4K textures, and just some general knowledge that I believe every creator and everyone getting into editing should know about. And I highly recommend that you listen through to the video, new or old creator, if you don't know much about the importance of texture sizes. So the avatar that we have here today, this one, and this one I will be showing later, are both by Beanie Baby, and her Discord will be in the description below any asset you don't see on the original avatar feel free to comment and I will link you to it so we want to talk about why texture size is important for those of you who don't know what a texture is it is a specific image applied to a material and this material right here if we're looking here this is for any shader whatsoever, not just Poyomi. We can click it here and it will take us to our texture. Now this texture is applied to our material to give it a specific design, a specific shading. For whatever reason you need this texture on, that's going to be there. Now if we were to take the objects, like a gene objects as we have down here, and we were to make the color simply blue, it obviously wouldn't look like jeans. Versus if we received a texture from the asset itself, or we made the texture ourselves to make it more like jeans. It's very important, and any avatar that you may have will at least have one texture on it, if not quite a few more. I, I highly doubt any avatar nowadays has less then maybe three textures at most. Unless we're talking about very optimized avatars, then they will have a bit more. But the general consensus for avatars nowadays, it's gonna have at least three textures minimum. Now, when we talk about the importance of texture size, a lot of people might think that texture size in avatar optimization does not matter. But surprisingly, it does. The higher your texture resolution is, the laggier your avatar will be because it takes a lot more to process an avatar when its textures are higher. It's going to take a lot more to upload their Unity, it's going to take a lot more to load your avatar, it's going to significantly increase the megabyte size of your avatar, and it can also just cause general lag of people looking in your vicinity. I know there's some avatars people might have where they don't understand why the avatar might be laggy, where it's coming from. It's always a good place to double check your texture resolution just to make sure. Now, if we come down to whatever texture that we're going to use here, I'm going to use the body for the fur here, we can see that the default texture when you're importing an image is normally 2K. Now, there are some exceptions to this, but Unity normally imports textures into a 2K resolution size. And we can see that by clicking on the image and looking at all of these settings here. A lot of people tend to overlook these settings, but some of these are very important. We're gonna scroll down to the bottom and we will see max size, which is 2K, that the amount of pixels that this texture can have, the re max resolution of it is going to be 2K. Now, if we click on that here, we see we have a variety of options all the way from 30 to 8k. Now it is a massive massive jump. 4k and 8k should very rarely if never be used. Arguably 8k textures should never be used. They are extremely hard to load, extremely high megabyte size, they're just overall not what you want to use. A 4k texture should only ever be used for very specific details. I know that tattoo textures are super popular in the more Western style avatar community. If that is the case, I only ever recommend having your tattoo, your AK or skin textures set as 4K. So if we swap over to this avatar right here, we can see that all of these little leopard prints here, if I wanted these to be super fine and super crisp, and I, there was a, tattoos that I had that had a lot, a lot of details, that is when you want to set the resolution to 4K so you're not losing the quality of your tattoos, so your normal maps are looking nice and crisp. Another thing to keep in mind out, if you have a normal map, so a good example would be, so the normal map is what is showing the texture for the jeans, the actual tangible texture. If you don't know what a normal map is, I recommend checking out my previous videos on that. But if you wanted the normal map to be more crisp, so in this case, this normal map is surrounding the entire avatar with small little bumps. It does not need to be a crisp normal map. In fact, it's fine if this texture is set to 2K or 1K. 
coming back over here to these little spots these little spots bump out just a tiny bit meaning they have a normal map applied to them so it can give them that definition but in this case if i had highly detailed stuff like this or if not more detailed than this i'd argue you'd want your normal map to be 4k and just because of that, it is going to allow less rigid edges. So if you're looking at your tattoo texture and there's like little bumps and it just, it doesn't look crisp, it's normally because your texture size is smaller. And because most of the time textures, such as normal maps, do come from Substance Painter, it can be a little bit finicky, especially if the creator exported their files as a 4k texture meaning compressing it you are going to lose quality most creators now when it comes to smaller textures export them as 2k textures although sometimes creators really do want 4k now if you do want those for whatever reason for some people they really like their high quality texture looks try to limit them as much as you can for quest users if you are ever struggling to compress your avatar size i highly recommend checking every single texture now some other things that you may have on your avatar which i do not have on this one is sometimes you will have a rim lighting map so for me, the rim lighting map was actually just the original body texture, which itself, you know, sometimes you'll have a rim lighting map, sometimes you'll have an ambient occlusion map, all of these things. Those textures do not need to be set to 4K ever. So masks, they do not ever need to be set to 4K. You can get away with them at a 2K and you could even get away with them at 1K. You know, you want to compress as much as you can, so you're reducing that size. Another fun fact that not a lot of people know is that JPEGs are actually more optimized than PNGs. So if you do have file sizes that are quite large, I recommend checking if any of your textures are exported as PNGs. If they are, I recommend converting them to JPEGs because JPEGs take less space. So a fun fact for you and a little bit of an optimization tip. So for those of you who want to care a little bit more about optimization or just want to learn some new knowledge, texture compression is super important. And if you're ever using a 4K texture, the important rule is if you don't have itty bitty tiny details, you probably do not need a 4K texture. If you're losing quality on something, are you using enough qual are you losing enough quality for it to be noticeable? You may notice it, but is it really worth having a 4K texture? I use 4K textures very rarely, only ever if it's important. And I can promise you that not that many people notice. And it is super important to compress those for optimization purposes, for whatever. If you are happy with your 4K texture, at the end of the day, let nobody stop you. But please keep in mind that there are other people around you, your friends and stuff like that, including yourself. I think we could all appreciate a little bit more optimization. So I hope you all enjoyed this video, and I hope that this was super helpful for those who wanted to learn a little bit more about compression when it comes to textures and little tidbits of information for avatar editing. I hope you all have a great day.